So my Nile monitor is not digging the dead cricket. He's a beast. He just tears up live dead anything. He eats turkey. He eats hard boiled eggs. He eats all of the above except for greens. He does not eat lettuce. He does not eat anything like this. My um, Nile monitor only eats alive crickets. So I'm dumping a couple of these in here that are alive. Because he did the live ones. Let's see if there's any left in here. Nope, there is none. So all these are alive. And I'm gonna put them in there, and whatever else ones he does not eat and there's left, I'm gonna put this Zoo Med Cricket Block so they can live a little bit longer than they should be living. Okay, so let's see. Right. my baby. You're in cricket heaven. You better tear it up. A little bit too much for him to eat. He's confused. He has no idea what's going on. He's like, am I in cricket heaven or... He don't even want to swallow one. After I see him swallow one, I'm probably just going to put him in his cage and put a few in there for him to just hunt down, I guess. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. At first, when I first got him, I wasn't sure if he was eating, but... That's how you know you're Savannah, Savannah, la, 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 la. let me start off. That's how you know your Nile, Savannah, or any type of monitor you have is in good health if you know it's eating. You don't want a monitor that's not eating because then I'm sure that's probably not good. But, um, yeah, just tearing it up. And then we have this guy over here trying to make his way to the party. Over here. Hopefully sometime this year I will be getting a mangrove monitor, but we'll see. So far I think he's had about three. That's about to be four. I'm gonna let him eat as many as he wants until he gets full. If not, you can just eat them all. But um, yeah, all right then. Just wanna show you guys a little of that. A little bit of this. All right, you two.